Hi, hello, how are you all? This is Charka Gayak. So today we are going to discuss the second part of the linear equation in one variable. So in uh, in first part we learn the basic things, basic parts of that linear equation in one variables. Now this is second part. Second part is con uh, containing how to solve the linear equation. So in uh, first part only I told that there are two methods. So two methods are there to find out the value of a variable. So solution of variable, root of variable. And uh, just a few seconds I will recall those things. So common things, so whatever we discussed in part one. Uh, constant we discussed, variable we discussed. And uh, linear equation and uh, one variable means what. And uh, uh, if uh, it's containing uh, degree, degree, then what we should do? Same degree and same variable. Addition and subtraction, so how to do? So these all we discussed. Now, how to find out the solution of that variable or root of that variable? First one, I will take the example of uh, first one, method one. So method one is common method. So this is a general basic method. So basic method it is. Example I will take as a x plus 3 equal to 2. x plus 3 equal to 2. What? x plus 3 equal to 2. So this is the one first method it is. So method 1. Common method it is. So basic method. So basic method before going to solve. Before going to use the second method. So this is the basic method we should learn. So x plus 3 equal to 2. I want the value of x. So x means how much. So that's a uh, value I, uh, I want. Here plus 3 is there. Uh, before going to discuss this method, one thing I am going to clarify. In this method, we have to make one side only variable, another side all constants. What? One side only variable, another side all constants. So that's we have to keep it in mind. Here, uh, one constant term is also there and variable is also there. So what I said, one side only variable, another side constant. Here, so, one side, another side means what? This is the LHS and this is RHS. LHS and here, this is the RHS. So, already I told LHS means left hand side, RHS means right hand side. I said what? One side only variable, another side constant. Here, LHS side, X and plus 3. Here, in this, variable is how much? X. And what is constant? 3 is constant. So, I want to make only variable on this side. All constant on, so that side. So, I don't want this plus 3. What? I don't want this plus 3. So, then what I should do? What? Addition is there. Addition opposite is subtraction. S. Do subtraction. S subtract 3 on both this side. One more thing. These are close friend. LHS and RHS are the close friend. Whatever I am going to give this LHS, you should give that RHS also. Otherwise, he will get angry. What? Whatever you are giving to LHS, that much you have to give RHS also. It's compulsive. Now, in LHS, so I am going to give minus 3. What? Minus 3 I am going to give. And here also you should give minus 3. Now, plus 3 minus 3 will get cancelled. Then what is remain? Good. X is remain. Yeah? 2 minus 3. Plus into minus minus. 3 minus 2 is how much? 1. And bigger number sign? Minus 1. So, this is the solution of X. Or here, this is the value of X here. Root of X. So, root of X is how much? Minus 1. So, uh, root of X is minus 1. What I done? If it is a plus 3, I took here minus 3. Opposite of that. If plus is there, we should take minus. And one more example I want to take. So here second example. What uh, y minus 3 or otherwise I will take different number. y minus 9 equal to 5. What? y minus 9 equal to 5. So here... So what is there LHS? 
LHS Y minus 9 is there. But what I want, what we want here, only Y we want on LHS side. This minus 9 we don't not want at all. So if it is plus number is there, we took minus of same digit. Minus of same digit. If it is minus number is there, then what we should take? Plus of same digit. Minus plus. Now add 9 on both this side. Y minus 9 plus 9 equal to 5 plus 9. Y minus 9 plus 9 equal to Y here equal to 5 plus 9. Minus 9 plus 9 get cancelled. Then Y equal to 5 plus 9 is how much? S 14. So what is the solution of Y? 14. 14 is the solution of Y. And uh, 14 is the root of Y. So third one I will take. So third one. For you y equal to 7. For you y equal to 7. Here there is no sign here. There is no sign here means multiplication is there. One more thing you should keep it in mind. Whenever constant along with any variable if they given then relation between these two is multiplication. So always it's, it's fixed there. That is multiplication. 5y equal to 7. This 5 we don't want. Just check that. relation. Uh, so what is the relation between uh, so y and 5? That is a multiplication. If it is multiplication is there, what? You should take the divide. Divide of same term. So now 5y divided by 5 equal to 7 divided by 5. Five. This 5, this 5 get cancelled. Then what is remain? Y equal to 7 by 5. So what is the uh, solution of Y here? In third example, 7 by 5. And fourth example. So fourth example I will take. So fourth example is that uh, X divided by 7 equal to 9. X divided by 7 equal to 9. So now this divided by 7 we don't want. Then what we should take? X. What? Multiplication. Multiplied by 7 on both this side. This is 9 multiplied by 7. 7, 7 get cancelled. Then X equal to 9, 7 is 63. This is the solution of here. So just I am going to recall this whatever I took. If the plus number is there, we should take minus number on both this side. Same digit. Same digit on both the side. If it is a negative number is there, then positive number we should take on both this side. Both this side. Here and here. So both the side you have to take. And if it's a multiplication is there. You have to take divide by same number on both the side. If it is divided by is there. Then multiplied by same number. Understood? This is one method. We can use here as a balancing method balancing so just commonly i said that because here i am going to do balance both this side balance so starting only i said these two are the close friend so whatever you are going to give lhs we should give rhs both the side we should give same term both are the friends otherwise one will get angry yes man. so that's why we have to give equal on both the side here so minus 3 I took, here also minus 3 I took, here plus 9 I took, so here also plus 9, here divide by 5 I, give, uh, I took here, so here also divide by 5, and uh, so I took here multiplied by 7, so here also multiplied by 7, this took, if plus number is there, negative number, negative digit, if negative digit is there, plus digit, if multiplication digit is there, ne uh, divided by digit, if divided by is there, multiplication, opposite of them. Plus, minus, minus, plus, multiplication, divided by, divided by, multiplication. Understood? This is a common method, basic method. Or we can say that balancing. Balancing method on both the side, LHS and RHS. This is method 1. Clear? So, clear or not? Yes. So, this is a first method. Basic, we, we should perfect in this. And uh, now, we will go through the second method. Second method is also very very simple. Just you have to remember this. If uh, plus number is there, negative digit. Plus digit, negative of same digit on both this side. Negative is there, plus on both this side. If the uh, if multiplication is there, divided by on both the side. If divided by is there, multiplied by on both this side. 
This is the method one. Now we'll move to the second method. Yeah. This is very very simple actually. Now, example number one, second method. This we can here particular name is there. Transposing method. What? Transposing method. Transposing method. Here this is a transposing method. Very simple. So this one also very simple. Here m plus twelve. Equal to 20. M plus 12 equal to 20. So first method what we said here. This is LHS and this is RHS. These two are the friend. Here. LHS and RHS. So first method is over. Now we are there in second method. This is LHS. This is RHS. This is transposing. Word itself it says that you have to transfer the turn one side to another side. Transport the term one side to another side. Here one side to another side means which side it is? LHS to RHS, RHS to R, uh, LHS. And always you have to keep it in mind. If it is on first method or second method. One side always variable. Another side always constant. So this is common on both the method. One side always variable. Another side always constant. Now. Here m plus 12 equal to 20. Just if how to transfer this plus 12 on that side. Which side? RHS side. If you are shifting, shifting plus 12 on this side, it will become minus 12. 20 here. This is 2. This is 2. 20 minus 12. 20 minus 12. m equal to 20 minus 12. So, m equal to 20 minus 12 is how much? 8. This is root or solution of m. Understood? This is the transposing method. Transposing method. I transferred plus 12 on that side. That is minus 12. Same. In uh, balancing method, what? If it is plus number is there, we have to take negative number. Same way here. If plus of here just you have to check the relation between m and the digit. Plus is there. If you are shifting this plus 12 on that side. It will become minus 12. Plus will become minus. And example number 2. Uh, here n minus of 10 equal to minus 11. n minus 10 equal to minus 11. So now one side uh, what variable I want and other side all constants. So minus 10 you have to shift here which sign always you have to remember this whole sign which sign you have to shift there. Minus 10 if you are shifting minus 10 on that side it will become what? What? If it is plus it will become minus. If it is minus what? Yes it's a plus. Now minus 11 here plus 10 n equal to minus 11 plus 10 so n equal to minus plus what minus plus minus 11 minus 10 is 1 and which sign larger number sign greater number sign 11 sign is minus 10 sign is plus which sign it will come 11 sign greater number sign greater number sign always and here the solution of n is minus 1. Start. And now third one. Here I will take here. This plus will become minus. Minus will become plus. Third example. So third example is so very simple. Here uh, P. Uh, what? 13 P. 13p equal to 26. 13p equal to 26. Here, the relation between variable and constant is addition. The relation between variable and constant is subtraction. Here, relation between constant and variable or uh, variable and constant is multiplication. Remember, multiplication. If you are shifting this 13 here, multiplication opposite is what? What? Divided by. Good. Yeah. P equal to 
26 divided by 13. 13 1s are 13 2s are. So, root of P is what? 2. So, root of P is 2. Then, if it is multiplied is there, it will become divided by. If multiplication sign is there, it will become divided by. And next, fourth one. It's a... Uh, what? Uh, X Z So Z divided by 3 equal to 9 Z divided by 3 equal to 9 So, so what is the relation between this variable and this constant? Divided by Divided by Upon Divided by is there So this divided by constant If you were shifting on this side Will become What? Will become Multiplication Yes Z equal to 9 multiplied by 3. Z equal to 9 multiplied by 3. So, Z equal to 9, 3 is how much? 27. The solution of variable is 27. So, divided by will become what? Multiplication. So, this is the transposing method. So, we learn here two methods. One is normal basic method. That is, we can give the name as a balancing method. Or otherwise, Second method is that transposing method. Is that? So these two methods are the basic method. And uh, uh, maybe you have some questions. Means, uh, sir, if in exam they ask to simplify the given equation, then which method we can use? If they say particularly transpose method, then we should use this method only. And uh, part, uh, part one method is, means uh, method one is not having any particular name at all. So that's why uh, they, uh, they are not going to ask at all particular method. They will just ask that simplify the given equation. Simplify the given equation and find the value of variable. Simplify the given equation, find the value of variable. Here, this is all. Simplify the equation and find the value of variable or uh, find out the root of the variable. So, so these two methods are very very impl, uh, important and uh, uh, one more question they will ask in this only verify the value verify the value m equal to 8 verify so verify it here example uh, first you have to find out the value of variable then you have to substitute m equal to minus 1 in this then that is equal to this rhs i will do here n minus 10 equal to minus 11 is there verification So verification, n equal to minus 11, you have to substitute here. Where? In this LHS. So LHS is what? LHS equal to n minus 10. So now, so n equal to, so how much we got the value? Minus 1. Minus 1, minus 10. So minus minus plus. 10 minus 1 is 11. And larger number sign, greater number sign. So, which one it is? Minus. Or if both the numbers are minus, minus, then minus will come. If both the number sign is plus, plus, then plus will come. So, minus 11. Minus 11 is RHS. This is called as verification. Verification means whatever you will get the variable roots, means uh, this solution. This solution you how to substitute in place of LHS. In, in, uh, in LHS side, we in place of variable. <laughs> Here, so where is the variable? There you have to substitute. N equal to minus 1. So there you have to substitute. Understood? This is called as verification. Verify. So verify the roots. So, now, so these are the two methods. And uh, one example we can discuss now. So one example. Uh, you can use, uh, so which one you feel easy, that method you can use. Transposing method or then uh, so that basic method means balancing method. So example one, I will take here two x plus three, two x plus three equal to what? Uh, equal to seven. Two x plus three equal to seven. Here they are uh, simplified.
simplify and verification verify the value so so, so that's also we have to do it here example one simplify simplify means find out the solution of x first one by one step by step we should go one by one term transposing uh, so we shall do transposing method yes now plus three plus three we have to send on this side it will become 2x equal to 7 minus 3. Plus 3 will become minus 3. So 2x equal to 7 minus 3 is how much? 4. And here in LHS side only variable? No. One more constant is there. We don't want this constant at all. Means this plus 2 we have to shift here. What? Minus 2? No. Multiplication. Relation between this constant and variable is multiplication. So if you are shifting this 2 on that side, it will become divided by 2 1 za, 2 2 za. So x equal to 2. We got the solution of x is 2. And verification, verify. So verify how to do. This is the LHS and this is RHS. So what they given? 2x plus 3 equal to 7. So LHS. LHS is what? Here. 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3. Just you have to substitute the x value there. Then that answer should be what? RHS. Then only one answer is correct. 2. So x value is what? 2 plus 3. And 2 to the how much? 4. 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we got the RHS. RHS equal to RHS. This is called as verification. Verification of that solution. Verification of that roots. Understood? So up to this much means uh, up to this much that uh, linear equation in one variable theory part. So theory part is completely over. Understood? Na? So, uh, and you have to solve more more examples. Understood? Further part we shall move to the what exercise so we can discuss on exercise on next part understood and uh, if any doubts any suggestions means any queries are there just you have to write in comment box so i will answer it means i can go through it understood so we'll meet on next class means next part of this uh, linear equation in one variable until then